as a crisis, it's now directly threatening the livelihoods of people who are most affected and exposed to such risks. So unfortunately for us, uh, these are people who are currently fighting poverty and are also the most marginalized. Um, and therefore, building their resilience and adaptation abilities becomes extremely crucial. One of the most uh, direct impacts of the climate crisis, which has also been widely documented, is in fact on food security and nutrition. Given the fact that agriculture does form the backbone for many low and middle income countries can be um, devastating for whole populations. If you start off with food production, for instance, you will see that climate crisis is already impacting the production of many staple crops. And in addition to that, you know, uh, the rise in temperatures will also be affecting, you know, the kind of yields uh, we see across agricultural production chains. And then finally, in terms of, uh, you know, weather variability and changes in rainfall, we will also see some direct impacts on the crop quantity as well as the quality. I think what continues to interest me in my work and motivates me to work for this particular crisis is uh, also the work that we do at JPAL, which takes a multidisciplinary approach and complements the efforts of policymakers, civil society organizations, and climate scientists who are fighting this battle every single day.